But the question is, is like, is it actually happening in a way that's detrimental to what we see in society? Like, are there actually examples of like, this company used to be really good and now because of the pursuit of ESG scores, now they've tanked completely, but we're all forced to buy the stock anyway. Disney. Okay. This is what I want to focus on. It has nothing to do with about whether you think Disney is a good example or not. This is about how these debates happen. And, I, and people won't realize this until they're in an internet debate themselves. Unfortunately, people can end up defending positions they don't actually believe in the heat of the moment. And I think that's what happened here. And I don't know if Destiny did this intentionally or unintentionally, but I think he suckered James into a debate tactic. Switching here. his switching okay. the argument. Right. He That's switched hilarious. the argument on him. Okay. Because if you hear what Destiny said, and you guys have to be careful if you're in a, an argument with anyone, really. Especially and this can happen in any personal oh argument. Yeah, especially Destiny. with Destiny. Holy shit. Right. So Destiny said, I don't think there's an example of a company that is tanking itself in order to hit some kind of ESG score. Right. So right. then, so James says, I think Disney is hurting itself to maintain an ESG score or to maintain some level of wokeness. Okay. Right. That was what James said. But then Disney, Destiny switches the argument. Like, <laughs> well, we've had $45 billion dollars down. D Disney, the largest company that like owns like 80% of new films coming out, is, is your go to example for a failing company? We'll see how that goes, won't we? Uh, the missile just you... hit them last week. What are you so, talking okay, about? Okay, wait. So, okay, so it's if like I, the Titanic took hours to sink, man. I, I just I want to I want I want to get a commitment here. So you're telling me what you think in five or ten years? You think Disney's going to be gone or out of business? You really believe that? I don't know. So the argument has sort of switched. It's not entirely on Disney's shoulder. James, maybe James actually believes this. I'm not sure. I would assume he wouldn't because I think it's stupid. But maybe he does actually believe it. To me, it seems like what happened was James was just using Disney as an example of a company hurting itself financially in order to achieve wokeness or an ESG score. And then the argument kind of shifts through, I would argue, through Destiny, because he says, Disney, you're saying Disney is a failing company. That's a very different statement. Just saying that a company makes a bad business decision based on wokeness and loses money is different than saying the company is failing. And then James immediately jumps onto defending that position that, yes, Disney is failing. It's sinking like the Titanic. And right. then Destiny says, oh, so you're saying it's going to be out of business in five years. That's and James a great switcheroo. Is, and James is saying maybe because he's starting to realize that maybe that's a stupid position to hold. And he's kind of maybe trying to walk it back. So I'm wondering when I heard this the first time and I hear it again now, if this is maybe intentional, maybe not intentional um, from anyone, is that this sounds kind of like James got accidentally suckered into Defending a position I don't think he actually agrees with. but Disney's going to get restructuring, new management. I mean, Disney Disney has a lot of potential if the woke people just get the fuck out of the way. Right. Like, well, here's... I can't believe, like, they, they f completely fucked up Star Wars. Like, that's ridiculous. Yes. They completely fucked up Star Wars. That's true. That is completely true. They could have had... a. They could have had 10 amazing Star Wars movies that would have just I'm, completely made a difference. I'm not sure it's based on wokeness, though. My theory is that Disney fucked up Star Wars because Disney is trying to make everything Frozen. Right. And I think because Frozen made a shit jillion Frozen dollars. Frozen was a giant success. Right. Yeah. Trying to make everything Frozen. So it's got to be a female protagonist who lets it go to discover her true power, <laughs> essentially. <laughs> and that's what Star Wars was. And the thing is, you can't just take that and map that onto every fucking property. It, it you know, it's fine and frozen, doesn't work in Star Wars. Okay? What well, sounds like we agree though, that it's a management problem. Disney's not- Oh, 100%, anywhere. it's 100% yeah. a management problem. Yeah. yeah. I don't believe that, well, I don't know. I mean, maybe JJ fucked up the original script of Star Wars, The Force Awakens from the get-go, I don't know, but. I have a feeling it was the management saying we want it, we want the Frozen to be the skeleton of Star Wars, and they kind of worked around that. Yeah. Well, Disney has a fucking giant amount of power, so they go in and tell them whatever they want them to do, and they're like, "Yeah, they're no longer well, these giant celebrities that can do anything they want." They're like, right. "Fucking okay, 
Frozen well, in space. I love it. I'm on board. <laughs> well, but there's what I want to say about Disney. This is kind of interesting is that I am on principle, on principle, I am against what DeSantis did because it does seem to be a stifling effect on free speech that we would all freak out about if the politics was reversed, rightfully so. However, if it turns out that Disney's stock tanks because of this, or at least is perceived, maybe it's not re- in reality, but is at least perceived to tank because of this, and that changes uh, corporate behavior nationwide to stop being so woke, I would unfortunately maybe have to reassess and say the ends justify the means. <laughs> and I'd feel very, con- very confused here about how we approach the situation from a principled position. So, huh? Yeah. I'm not sure okay. how I feel. I, yeah. I'm not really sure how I feel about all this, but. That's why I said we will see. I, I, this is like the standard. I hate pundits to do this. You guys will make these huge predictions. You know yeah, it's most ridiculous. Most pundits also haven't you read like, literally all of the fucking it's, books. It's, it's, and yet, beside, the, even though you've read them all, you won't give me a prediction, right? Well, maybe, maybe it will, maybe it won't. You're engaging in the same behavior that you criticize these people for when you talk about, like, oh, well, they're saying there's all these diseases that are going to kill us. And now you're here saying, like, well, I think Disney's going to go out of business. Really? You don't- I, I totally agree with Destiny. James Lindsay has not taken a position, as far as I can tell, which yeah, does fucking drive me crazy. Well, in this specific issue, I do think. I would assume, and maybe if we talk to James, you can ask him this. I would assume he's was baited into defending this. Disney's going to go out of business. Yeah, they threw this panel together and like without giving them any information to go on or anything. You don't believe that? No, You're just I saying said it that because Disney it lost good. forty-five billion dollars in value in two weeks as a result of their S score raising social policy that they blurted out online. See, because now, see, that's why I think he got baited into it. Because he's now he's saying, no, I don't think they're going to go out of business. I think they, I'm just saying this was an example of them losing a fuck ton of money by engaging in this, you know, performative wokeness or ESG score or whatever you want to call it. So I, I yeah, I, I do think, I stand by my assessment. I do think James got baited into saying something or defending a position he doesn't really believe, unfortunately. But that is, this happens in, in a lot of debates. This happens in a lot of arguments. You know, I think we've both fallen prey to this, and you, you just have something you have to be very aware of in these sorts of conversations. That's what I'm saying. That they lost, they took a 45 billion dollar hit over their stupid ESG compliant policy. That's all I said. I'm not talking Tons about of- if they. I, I just, they didn't do it for ESG compliance, though. That's a t- completely fictitious part of the whole narrative. Well, but see. But this is the problem. Um, and I think this happens a lot in these conversations. So someone gets baited into, into defending something that they don't want, like, they don't agree with. They realize they got baited into it. So they try to try to walk it back. And then people say, oh, now you're just, you're just changing your opinion <laughs> because it sounds stupid. And it's like, well, maybe, or maybe that's not what happened. Maybe in the heat of the conversation, they agreed to something that they don't actually believe in. And now they realize, well, I don't wait, I don't actually believe that. So. Now I'm busily trying to find out when Disney reports earnings. They're going to go out of business. Go out of business. I hope they burn. Look at Facebook stock after they went after Meta. What? This is probably over, what, like a $100 billion in, in change in terms of like that stock tanking? I mean, like when you start happens, talking companies- about like shareholders and stuff, you know, so Elon just offered like a 40% premium on the value of Twitter stock, and it went real weird real fast. So you start talking about like shareholders. We're, we're to the point now where we're about to see a massive fiduciary responsibility lawsuit that's going to make or break how this goes going forward. So you're asking me to answer questions that cannot be answered because the door literally just opened. But if the door had not been opened, I can tell you exactly how they would go, is that we would continue to march into this sweet, sweet good night that looks exactly like the Chinese captured market system. That's exactly where this is headed. That's exactly what the point of the Great Reset is, is to turn the West into a copycat of China. How do I know that? They actually say it. I'm not making it up. They say that the goal is that if we want to compete with China, we have to become like China. We have to 
gain this extra control over our markets and put this authoritarian control in our markets because otherwise everything's too slow, blah, 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 blah. They, Do they talk about China in the book that you read? In No, not really. Okay. I have seen on their website them saying that we need to compete with China and all this stuff. So. Well, they do talk talk about decoupling and supply chain issues and stuff like right. that. So. Right. But I'm telling you, they don't make any kind of declarations, any kind of big, bold declarations like we saw in that video. You'll own nothing. and Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, they're just laying out the environment. Disney reports earnings on May 11th. Last they were last reported earnings on February 9th. They had a huge upside surprise in earnings, up 70% over expectations. Mm -hmm. And so I'm sure the stock was up huge with that kind of beat, but estimated earnings is a dollar nineteen per share. That's a big number. <laughs> they might not make it. <laughs> Well, last time they reported earnings, their estimated earnings were sixty-three cents a share, and they reported a, a buck six. So a buck six and a buck nineteen are pretty close. I don't know. I don't know their situation though. This is why it's like the whole idea that, like, you're gonna look at the wokeness of the Disney movies and think how much money they've earned. I mean, they. I'm surprised they were. They could not. Disneyland was closed. All their theme parks were fucking closed for a pandemic. Well, it's interesting because if you look at the five-year Disney price, so in the month of November of 2020, Disney has this massive jump up in stock price. They go from 141 to 175 at the end of the month. And then it just kind of stays up really high in that 170 range all until... November until actually a year. And then a year later, November 1st, 2021, it starts trending down again. Yeah. So I, yeah, I don't know what was, I don't know why that one year was just so good for them. And I mean, maybe we're just I seeing a return to the mean. I don't know. I, I, if I just off the top of my head was going to guess, I would guess, see, and all this is driven by earnings. That's why I like stocks because it's all based off of fucking, they earn money. They right. did. This is like Mandalorian uh, original Star Wars content on Disney Plus, probably drawing in subscribers to Disney Plus. So it's probably earnings based off of all that Disney Plus subscriptions. Yeah, that's what, mean, is I it all? Know. Is this all just Disney Plus had a banger year or something? With or, Mandalorian, you know, for that time period, baby. Or? Look, someone's wearing their Baby Yoda shirt. Look at this <laughs> right here. Go Disney. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean. Mandalorian was much better than expectations, so who knows? Right. But I like it's just interesting because we should we'll look. I'm gonna I'm starting a new story arc right here. Let's see what happens on May eleventh. <laughs>